Hey guys, so uh, just to make sure everybody's aware, um, we've been having a lot of rain in Louisiana the last, uh, well, last bit here, but especially in the last few days. So it uh, doesn't really change what we're doing, but just want to reiterate that you guys should be prepared for whatever the weather is. And so again, if we have, you know, feet of water, we're probably not going to be able to do much um, uh, in terms of our uh, wetland work or gardening work, but uh, it'll be great. We have a killer trip. It's going to be awesome, but just want to make sure you guys are aware that it might be um, a bit wetter than a traditional trip. So this is a little video from uh, the Weather Channel just to sort of give you a sense for what's happening. Across Texas and Oklahoma now. We're looking at river flooding like you see here in Kirbyville, Texas. So the river flooding, that's going to continue, of course. You can see here, though, that water's not moving. It's going to take a while for that to reabsorb. So let's talk about your forecast and how much rain is still to come because see where the green is? That's where we're going to see those flood watches. So essentially, this is the area that has the potential for flooding in your streets from rainfall. The dark green, that's river flooding. You're going to watch these lighter green areas progress farther to the east as Again, we go this is through us. Friday, going into Saturday and Sunday. Look at the rain streaming up through New Orleans, straight up into Tennessee, across Mississippi, where we're seeing a lot of flood concerns. And that will continue all the way into Saturday. You see the rain doesn't quite stop. By Sunday, we should start to see a little bit of a break, but not before picking up close to a foot of additional rainfall on top of what has already fallen. The catastrophic flooding continues across the south. This video from Pearl, Mississippi, where you can see church parking lots completely taken over by water. But unfortunately, roads have been overtaken as well. And we can report that there are at least five deaths confirmed from this flooding across Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana. Roads completely washed out in spots. So as folks tried to drive over them and they couldn't see because the water was over it, that did result in a couple of these deaths. Now, we do still have some flooding to go. So there have been a lot of impacts, at least 3,500 homes evacuated. But the river flooding is something to watch all the way through the weekend. So don't think that it's over once the rain stops.